before the video starts, I'm doing a giveaway for my channel. This will go into the end of February, where at the end of February, I will be giving away a 12 month or one year Xbox Live Gold membership. All you have to do is subscribe and come on any video I made from this point on until the end of February. Just comment anything and you'll be entered and I will announce the winner on Twitter. So on January 17th, Greg FPS posted this on his Twitter. Hot take. Free DLC ruined zombies, map, and quality. Then Twitter user by the name of Joe Weeks Born Again commented, Did we forget about Die Rise, Infection, Descent, Zetsubo, Noshima, Revelations, Beast from Beyond, The Darkest Shore, The Tortured Path, and the entirety of the Black Ops Past? Now, first impression, Noah J is in tears that you put Descent in that list. Thanks. I apologize, but that's, that's just where it's gotta live. Next up is Descent. Yes! <laughs> The most controversial one so far because I know how people feel about exo zombies. I'm going to put uh, descent into a great map category. Also, Revelations is not that bad, and Zetsubo no Shima should never be put in a bad map conversation, and all of the Black Ops Pass was not that bad. It had Asian Evil and Dead of the Night, which really is an overheated map. It was very mids. Well, like, Greg had a decent counter to this argument with the following. Varuk, Shino Numa, Duris, Mob of the Dead, Buried, Origins, Dreisendrak, Zetsubo no Shima, in his opinion. Gorai Krovi, Revelations, once again going on his opinion over the other. Dead of the Night, Ancient Evil, and Togger Toten, all good maps and all viable DLC. Now, I agree that most of these maps are very good and it's very fair but putting shino numa and mob of the dead in the same sentence makes me and jason blundell cry now, the last tweet i could find in this response comment thread was joe saying listing off a bunch of good maps is a counter argument to my listings off the bad maps that paid dlc is a coin toss of quality meaning that paying for the experiences doesn't matter at all now i can agree that this is a fair counter argument and that this discussion i feel can't be fully won on j on greg's side because cold war in my opinion was overall a pretty good experience compared to the advanced warfare and world war ii zombies experiences but your main argument for saying that free dlc ruined zombies would be vanguard but that was just a mess of a game in general not sure if you can blame that alone for the death of zombies and free dlc if you look at cod games revenue you have bo1 that eventually had 1.22 billion dollars bo2 with 1.18 billion dollars bo3 made six hundred thousand dollars in the first month black ops 4 grossed over 500 million in just four days colder made 678 million in just the first six weeks of release and treyarch who's responsible for doing all the free dlc releases their current valuation is 77.9 billion dollars so with these numbers i came to a statement that i believe is so factual that the zombies mode quality is based off the budget the developers are given and although vanguard and cold war are both free dlc games the quality and the attention to detail and the love and the passion are so noticeable you see it's up to the studio up to the budget up to the developers and it's also up to the game decisions and engine that really matter not if it's paid dlc or not the games make enough money for it to not rely on dlc sales all right you made it to the end kisses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. goodbye kisses mm -hmm.